Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So start from these videos, I uh, will continue the talks topics of uh, statistic. So this is the first. Uh, uh, in this video, we want to introduce some basic terminology of statistics. So the first thing I want to talk about is what is a sample. So sample is generally a group of data from a population. So here. In general, the sample size is uh, smaller than a population, but uh, we will work on the analysis of this uh, sample and then to try to use the properties of the results or conclusion we made from this uh, sample to guess what's the situation or conclusion we can have from the population. So for example, if we want to know like all the the height of the citizens in one country, what we will do, we maybe will select several, randomly select some people in this country and then check their height. And then we will use the mean of this results we have to guess what's the average height of all citizens in this country. So, you know, here, uh, this is uh, one more terminology I want to talk about the sample is a sample mean. So here, if we have uh, already select a sample from our population, then we will denote this uh, samples by the small letter, small x. And then if we have n uh, observations of this sample, then we denote them by uh, x, a uh, small x sub one, small x sub two, until small x sub n. Then the sample mean of this one is uh, the sum of this x one until x n divided by n. So also we can rewrite this by the summation sample. So here we can write this is our definition of the sample mean. So here there is uh, one thing you should care for about is if you already look my videos about the random variables, then if we have uh, several random variables, we can also denote them by x1, x2, until xn. However, for the random variable in probability, we generally denote them by the le uh, capital letter, like capital X, capital Y, capital Z. But for the observations in the sample, generally we know this by small x. So we know this by small x or small y or small z. Okay, this is one thing we should uh, care for. And then, uh, by this is the definition of the sample mean. Then what's the meaning of this sample mean? So here, uh, for the mean of a random variable, we know that is a weighted average of our uh, all possible values of a random variable with respect to the probability. And for the sample mean, the meaning of this is a center of the data set. So this is the meaning of a sample mean. Okay, so now we already talked about what is a sample mean. And then with the next uh, terminology, so if you look at my video about the probability, you will know we always talk mean, variance, standard deviation together. So the next uh, terminology I want to explain is uh, sample variance. So here the definition of sample variance is uh, given here. So generally we denoted the sample variance by the small i's square. So the definition of this is a summation of the square of the difference between our all uh, our, uh, observations uh, based the mean, sample mean. And then we divided this by n minus 1. So here, if you look at this uh, definition of this summation of a square of uh, minus divided by some number, this actually is, looks very similar to the variance of a stand of a random variable, so that means it's also uh, try to describe the spread of the observations for a sample. So here, the one thing you should care for about this is, uh, 
here instead of dividing by the number of our uh, observations. So here, what should we divide it? This is divided by n minus 1, which is the degree of freedom for our sample here. Okay, and uh, also uh, similar to our property of the or definition of the variance of a random variable. Here we also have two formula to compute our variance. So here for the sample variance, we also have an equation uh, look like this. So the main idea of this is also we, uh, because in the original uh, definition, there is a square inside of our summation. So here, if we distribute this uh, xi minus x bar square, then we can get the second equation. So if you are interested about how we can have this one, you can look my look at my videos about uh, the mean and variance of a discrete random variable. So the uh, step of this uh, is really similar to that one. Okay, so this is our sample variance. And then the next one is what is a sample standard deviation? So the idea is still similar. The standard deviation is always a square root of a variance. So that's why here the sample standard deviation is s equals square root of s square. Okay. Okay, so this is the definition of the sample standard deviation. So then maybe you ask me like what is the meaning of this? So the meaning is the to describe the spread of our observations uh for our uh, sample. Okay. So the instead of this three important terminology for the sample, we also have a uh, three more important uh uh, terminology. So the first one I want to talk about is a uh, sample median. So for this one, the first thing we should do is we should uh, reorder our data from the smallest to the largest. So it means we uh, arrange this to an uh, increasing uh, sequence. And then the median of this sample is a middle value if there is old observations. And if there is even observations, then the median is the uh, average of the two middle values. So this is what's the meaning or what's the definition of our sample median. So you can see this uh, sample uh, median is uh, looks a little similar with our sample mean, right? Sample mean is what is the center of our uh, data set, and this uh, sample median. It looks like it actually is also the center of this, uh, of this uh, data set. However, they have some difference. The difference is if our data set is a bias, uh, data set. So what that means? That means if, uh, for example, if this is our sample size. So that means we have. This is already be ordered from the smallest to the largest. So now the first four number are all number one, and then we have this uh, number two, three, four, five, uh, and uh, six. Okay. So now what is the median of this one? So the first thing is how many number we have here. So because here in total we have number we have nine numbers here, right? So that means here, when we have the n is equal 9, this is an odd number. So that means here, for our sample median, this should be the middle value. So for this one, the middle value is uh, 1 in the position 5. So this is our median, sample median here. Okay, and then what is our sample mean? So for a sample mean, Sample mean means this is uh, our x bar. So it's, we should sum all of the values here. And then we divide this by our value 9, because we have 9 observations. right? And then the answer of this one, if we compute it, the answer of this is, by calculator, is 5.7. So you can see the sample median of this one is a number uh, 2. However, if you look at the 
the sample mean here. The sample mean is number 5.7. So you can see these two numbers are totally different with each other. So why we have this? Because for our original data set, this is a biased data set. So there is so many numbers in the smaller range, and then they have less repeat for the number with the larger value. So that's why we have this situation. So that so in, in overall it means although the sample mean and the sample media is all describe something looks like the center, but how actually sample mean is the center of the uh, data set and the sample media is the middle of the sample set. Okay. And then the next uh, terminology I want to talk about of the sample is our sample model. So for this one, the definition of this uh, sample model, this is the most uh, frequently occurring uh, data in our data set or in our observations. So here, if you look at our example of the here, so what is the number occurs? so many times. So the answer, of course, is our number one. So that means for this example, our sample model is equal what is equal number one. Okay, so this is what's the definition of a sample model. And then the last terminology I want to talk about is what is our sample range. So the sample range actually is related to the maximum and minimum of a sample. So, of course, maximum and minimum is also two terminology in our statistic. Is our sample maximum and sample minimum. But I think no, everyone is know what's meaning for maximum and the minimum, right? So I won't uh, explain that here. So here I just tell you what's the, sem what's the symbol of our uh, sample maximum and sample minimum. So the sample maximum is, we just say this is a maximum max and precedes, and this is xi. So that means because we denoted our all observations by the small x sub a number. So here for the i, of course, i is uh, any number 1 until n for our uh, sequence or orders of our um, observations. So this first term in this equation on the right hand side is our sample maximum. And then the next is our sample minimum, right? We denote this by the min princess of x sub i close princess. So the difference between this uh two value is our sample range. So here the sample range is always a number greater or equal to zero, right? Because the maximum is always uh, greater or equal to our minimum. So that's why this difference is always a non-negative number. Okay, so this is what I want to talk about, the numerical summary of the data. So we introduced six different uh, important terminologies of how to describe our data. So in next video, I will start to talk about how we can use some tables or some statistic graphs to show some more straightforward meaning of our data set. So please subscribe my channel and see you in next video.